Hey guys and girls, welcome to Valheim modded, and this is going to be episode four. And episode four is going to be exploring the dark forest, which are the pine trees that you see right here on in front of us. Um, that's the next area to go once you beat the first boss. If you notice, I've got a few uh, a few different magic items now. Once I beat the force, the first the boss, the force, the once I beat the boss the first time, and I got this really nice shield, I figured I had a few more heads. I went and fought him a few more times. I got a decent cloak here. Helps me with my stamina regen. And I got a magic pickaxe, so I figured I'd carry it with me. So, anyway, the idea behind going into the black, the dark, dark forest or black forest? I think it's a black forest. Uh, let's go find out. Yes, it is the Black Forest. As you can see, this is the first time going into the Black Forest. Once you go into a new zone, that's what it does. And I got company already. Nice, and it's a two-star. Anyway, the reason we need to go into the Black Forest is we need to... We need to kill these guys because we need their eyes. Their eyes are one of the pieces you need. And I'll show you them. Really? I killed two of them and didn't get an eye? I can't believe that. I killed two of them and didn't get an eye. Anyway, their eyes are required for making... The portals that allow you to teleport around. And we also need certling cores, which are in the dungeons in here. And one of the things we got to really watch out for is trolls. And the other things that are in here that I want to find is copper. Copper usually looks like a rock like this, except you'll see like bright gold. Um veins running through us so I want to see if I can find at least one maybe two of them and I want it to be somewhat close by mainly because transporting them around they get very heavy very fast and we're gonna need all of that to build bronze shields bronze armor and we're going to need that, that heavy armor and stuff for the area we will go to next, which will be the swamps are after this. Oh, here's something else is which is useful. Got some carrots here. Carrot seeds you can plant, and they're a food source. They're also used to make stews and stuff like that. So they're worth getting your hands on. Another thing we want is these big pine trees. See, this one's copper. Alright, let's... Let's mark that on the map. And don't be, don't be, don't judge it by its size. There's a ton underneath the ground. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. Just to show you how much is actually underneath the ground that you don't see. Because if you mine basically what you see on top, you're going to get about hmm, 20 or so pieces of copper. But if you mine the whole thing, you're going to get 80 pieces or better. The reason I'm doing this is I want the core wood. Core wood along with 
the other wood out of the birch trees, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, is used for crafting the next level bow up a fine bow. So that's one of my goals. I don't need these now, but these thistles are used in making stews, which makes meads to have various effects. We got another copper vein right here. Map. I think for now two copper veins are going to be fine. What we need now is a couple of crypts. And here's another copper vein. So you got plenty of copper in here, which is great. And one of the things that you need besides copper to make to make bronze is tin. Berries is another source of food. And they can be used in stews and stuff too. You'll see tin along the shoreline. Kind of looks like a shiny rock. If I can, yeah, like this one over here. This is a piece of tin. And since I have a pickaxe, I'll try and dig one out. Whoops. He's going to tell me about tin. Yes, we know about that. But we need certain cores, which means we need... We need to find a crypt. There we go. I think I finally got an eye. That's what the eyes look like. You need ten of those along with the certain coils and fine wood in order to make the teleporters. But, yep, so this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to run around. I'm going to try and get that battery back. Thank you. Try and find some crypts. Right now my purpose is to find some crypts, get it. I'll grab some tin, bring it back. But I can't do anything without the certling cores. Because I need to make a kiln and a smelter. Which require certling cores to heat it. And we're just going to run through this area. Hopefully, maybe somewhere through here we'll find... Maybe we'll get lucky and find the traitor. Who knows? So. I'll be back if I find anything interesting. Because I know you're getting probably bored of watching me run around. Okay, so after several hours of running around and going back and forth and trying to find a couple of tombs to show you guys, I finally found one, so I'm not going to show you the hours and hours and hours of me running around, but if we look at the map, 
I am currently right over here. Matter of fact, let me mark the house. Put a little house together up here. Um, but I originally started here, and I was checking out this whole area in here. I found a troll cave, which maybe I'll do a vi short video on at some point. But that was all I found through this whole thing, except for some... As you can see, I marked a few copper deposits, which we're going to need. But, um... There was, nothing, there was no crypts in here at all. So, I ended up going up this way, and I found a couple of crypts this way, which I marked. I didn't do them yet, so I'm saving them to show you guys. And that's where we're going to start this video off, is by running over to the crypts and getting into there. But first, I got to call it a night and get some sleep. And when we come back, we'll take a run over to those two crypts and I'll show you those two crypts. Alright, so we're, I guess, so like we said, down out in the meadows here, but right up in here. This is the beginning of the, the Black Forest. So, with that note, I'll be back in a minute when I'm over by the crypt. So, see you then. Okay, so here we are, right by a crypt, which you can see right here. They're usually guarded by about three or four skeletons, but I killed them. Oops, I hear some gra- He's over there, what's he doing? There's a few gray dwarfs around. They can't go in or out of caves. Or, uh, crypts. So don't worry about them following you into something. But, um, when we go in here, it's going to be pretty dark. So what I'm going to do... Stand still. He can't climb up this platform, so. But he can shoot arrows at you. So as you can see, it's quite dark in here. So give me a second here. We'll brighten things up for you. Um, filters. Let's get rid of this map. There you go. Now you can see pretty good. A lot better than I can, actually. These right here, they're yellow mushrooms. You can pick them and eat them. Or you can save them as a... As a light source. Alright. Come on. Not very smart, are they? Alright, if your skills aren't super great and you can't go ripping through this place, I would definitely suggest you creep your way through here.
And as you can see, my mushrooms are wearing out. Let's re up them. Re up the honey. Gotta try and keep your hit points up. And the chests, that's a little bright, I know. But basically, the various gems and money and things like that. Stuff that you can sell to the trader. Sorry, that was so bright. Generally speaking, what I like to do is I like to stay to one wall. Like I'm following a left wall all the way around. Eventually, you'll loop all the way around and you come back out. And this way, you won't miss anything. All right, and this is what we're here for. Certling cores. They're good for making smelters and kilns. They're good for making teleporters. Or port they go call them portals. Okay, so that's done. Again, I'm now still following the left wall, which takes us to the next door. Okay, again, stick with the left wall. Turns out the first place it takes us to is this door. That's usually a good sign when you see shields on the wall like that. That was close, I almost died. We'll just hang out for a minute, let my hit points come back up. Whatever that dude was hitting me with, man, really hurt. All right, again, we'll stick with the left wall. Gotta watch out in here. There's, sometimes there's skeleton spawners. Try and kill them right away, unless you're looking for a lot of a lot of bones. There's another certling core and a chest. A chest, same stuff. Feathers, money, and various gems that you can. Get over there. Get up. There we go. Right, and again, we'll follow the left wall around and out. My axe is almost broken. Do I have another weapon? No. That's not good. I'm going to have to try and use my bow a little. Back to my that. Get my shield out. Okay. Alright, we got skeleton bones down here. Alright, again, sticking to that left wall. 
Also, you may run into a ghost in here. Don't be too freaked out. They can't do anything more than any other thing in here. They're just a little harder to kill. Okay, so this is basically a dead end. And I really need some more of these certain cores. I'm going to be very disappointed if all I get is two out of this place. Okay, that's a yellow, by the way. I know it looks bright white, but that was a yellow magic item. It was a magic hoe. What can I get rid of? I'll get rid of the stones. And I'll get rid of the thistle. I can use it by recycling it and making other magic items from it. Alright, we got another chest here. Feathers and more gems. Come on, I need more certainly claws. Alright, so it looks like I'm only gonna get three, right? No, I got four. Alright. So that's what a dungeon looks like. I'm gonna go do the other one that I have marked on the map. Oops, let's just turn this off. There. Yeah. Uh, we just did the one right here. This is where we are. Uh, right over here. This is where we are. I'm going to go do this one. Bring everything back down to here. And then figure out how to get it over to my main base. Which is this home right here. And we'll X this one out. Seeing that we did it. Alright guys. 
that's going to be it for, for the Black Forest and the Burial Chambers. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll do the other Burial Chamber off camera so I can start getting some stuff. And then hopefully from there we could move on to building teleporters and collecting copper and things like that. Getting ready for the swamp. Alright guys, really appreciate you watching. Everybody out there have a great one. And I will talk to everybody soon. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, set your alerts. Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot guys. Until next time. Bye.